is so unknown with Roy Basnet on City Talk 105.9. It's City Talk 105.9, Zone Unknown for a Sunday night. Now, um, I'm not quite sure on this one. I'm beginning to come round to the way of thinking that there might be something in it, that the universe could be the dominant force in everybody's life, and that if you know how to approach it and how to ask for things, it is possible that the universe will deliver the goods for you. It sounds a little bit far-fetched, but maybe that isn't the case. I'm pleased to be joined by Stephen Richards on the phone, a man who knows all about it. Cosmic ordering is what he calls it, is I believe, Steve? That's right, Roy, and firstly, thank you for having me on your show, and uh, hello to all my friends in Liverpool. Right. Cosmic ordering, then, in a nutshell, what's it all about, Steve? Manifesting your desires. That's right. it. <laughs> there's nothing difficult. Uh, sadly, uh, there's an awful lot of people who seem to have jumped on the bandwagon and made it into an art form that uh, resembles something that you get in an Ikea flat pack. Uh, right, right. <laughs> it's not that complicated. But, but in its basic form, but what are we talking about here? A, a desire that you put out to the universe and the universe gives you gives it your back, or the cosmos, whatever you want to call it? Well, there are, and I don't wish to sound um, obstropolous here, but there are certain obstacles. It's not a simple case as, look, I want a new Ferrari, I, you know, I want yeah. a new uh, recording studio. Of course, if um, you're one of the high falutin stars of the uh, stage and screen pop world, yes, that, that will happen. But right. it's certainly about having the right condition of mind. Uh, I'm sure some of your studio guests there would um, affirm this, that if you're not in the right uh, frame of mind, then nothing seems to go right. So yeah, yeah. about creating positivity, the right vibrational um, state of mind, and then, of course, we have an awful lot of objections to come out of ourselves. You know, just like the double glazing salesman comes around and uh, sells you his wares. Uh, he empties you of objections, doesn't he? Gets mm. you nodding your head in agreement. Yes, right, you'd like right. that, wouldn't you, Mr. So and so? Well, it's the same with Cosmic Aldrin. You have to have a clear head. You have to be in a state of high vibrancy and positivity. Empty yourself of all objections. And then that is when the time is right. Yeah. But not right. until. Well, let, let me tell you, I mean, I'm going to go with Jebby on this for the first person. Jebby probably being the most cynical person that he's here and always will always find some reason to, to doubt. <laughs> but here's the thing, and we can't deny this, can you? Say for the sake of arguments, if you, as has just been pointed out by Steve, that if you're in the wrong frame of mind, for example, you're late, right. external forces, traffic lights, cars going slow in front of you, buses pulling out on all this happens, doesn't it? You can't deny that that oh, happens. Oh, God, yes, it happens to me all the time. Yeah. Even so, on the way, I thought it was going to be late and traffic and, was a nightmare. And it's worse. So, I mean, what, what, what do you attribute that to? I... I Honestly, don't know. Um, I, I don't know whether we're trying to bend yeah. um, the forces of the universe, if you like, in a Jedi sort of fashion. Yeah. But uh, but it is it is the case that external things actually do happen. You know what I mean? When you it does, if when it's going that, right, everything when it's going goes right, right. It's going right. If you set off early for the job and yeah. stuff like that, I'm, I'm not talking about the fact that your the lights are. Still the same. Mm -hmm. The lights just change in your favour, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I, t I take it within the right kind of ballpark here with this, are we, Stephen? Yeah, we can influence um, certain things within our lives. But however, remember when you're in the traffic jam, equally so, coming the other way, you've got as many people hoping and wishing uh, and aspiring to having a clear motorway or road uh, as you're on. So right. we have to look at it this way, that sometimes in the quietness and peacefulness of your own home, then this is when you can get more results. My most success comes from sitting at my desk and my seat. It's a sort of an office seat that can recline slightly and um, I have a lovely uh, expel air fan and I get that on and in the dead of night when everyone's uh, gone I then start and place my orders now if I was to do that in a traffic jam then yes we're going to have some uh, negative uh, I call it um, if you like, like catastrophic vibrational negativity right right now that comes from if you've passed an accident black spot many a time, and it's a big sign, it's an accident black spot. They've named it because it's full of negativity. It draws anything likely to happen there, and you're in the same boat when you're in a frame of mind in your car. Turn your radio on 
get City talk on, listen to Roy, get some music, <laughs> and go, well, hey, and get yourself into a different state, because the minute you go into a defocused state and you lose your coherence, that is when you are also drawing the accident black spot to you. Right. And within, you haven't got any influence. You're not able to influence it. If you just had a bereavement or you've broken up in a new relationship, it's obvious that you're not going to go into work the following day and be full of the joys of life. Hmm. And that's akin to sitting in a car in a traffic jam. We, we all go through right. that bereavement and loss when so, we're doing that. Stephen, when you're going through the process of what you want then, so you get a certain time of the day, you know you're in a chilled out frame of mind, and that is when you make your demands of the cosmos, if you like. Yeah, we ask. We, we can, uh, it's wrong to demand, but certainly yes. Uh, I find I get myself uh, in a meditative state. I meditate every morning. Now, please don't think I'm sitting cross-legged with Josh sticks and <laughs> bells and uh, whistles blowing. Far from it. <laughs> you can meditate leaning against a wall, sitting in a seat, driving a car when you stop yeah. in a traffic jam. Not whilst driving, of course. Um, in a meditative state is simply just being being mindful of yourself, becoming aware of your breathing, of you, and you, you introversion, you go into yourself, and that calms everything down, that brings it into a right state. Music as well, remember, that also raises mm -hmm. that vibrational output that you want, mm -hmm. and that is the time that you can apply the power of your mind, because cosmic ordering, we, cosmic ordering, yes, it united field theory, new age, what spin, whatever you want to call it, but it's been around since the guy who invented the first wheel. Well, the cleverest guy was the guy who invented the other three wheels <laughs> to go with that one. Um, you know, so he, uh, he, uh, he picked on someone else's idea and said, hey, I'm going to use this. So we're just simply hmm. rehashing old ideas that have right. been around since time started, if you like, yeah. since the Big Bang. Hey, City Talk 105.9, we're talking with Stephen Richards on the phone here. Cosmic ordering is his area of expertise where the universe could effectively deliver a little something for you. Let me bring in Claire here, because thro throughout the course of this conversation here, Claire has been nodding her head and smiling <laughs> in agreement. So, does this... Claire, resonate remind me with to you. send you a gift. <laughs> right, yeah. it's, it's like if it's a Ferrari, you'll be floating again. Bit of a cosmic it's order. Get a Ferrari, but not the full size. <laughs> there you are. Go on, what, what, what do you want to say in this class? Stephen, I'm totally, totally with you on this one. Um, I think it's like the law of attraction. Yes, so ab absolutely. The law of attraction, can I just say, is the theory. Cosmic ordering is the practice. And this yeah. is where people make a massive mistake. Yeah. They say, oh, yes, the law of attraction. Well, if they want to look and feel books and read all about it, yes, mention the law of attraction. But if you want to actually do it physically, then it's cosmic order. Definitely. And I think as well, I mean, I'm a performer as well and I, I go out on, to, you know, on the stage week in, week out. And, you know, when you're doing that kind of thing, sometimes you can start feeling negative and you think, I can't do this, I can't do this in front of these people. But the minute you start getting them feelings... I'll tell you how to overcome that. Go on. You take a breath inwards and think in your mind the word I. And then as you blow the breath out, you say, can. And you breathe in, I can. It's kind of a bit um, saucy, <laughs> this, isn't it? And then you, well, sorry about the heavy breathing. But you, you then find that your vibrational state... Yeah. Aligns itself because you're all, all your chakras inside, all yeah. those energy centers from your crown, you know, to your forehead, to your throat, to your chest, to your stomach, spleen, your mm -hmm. root chakra, all those are spinning then at different, you know, the energy yeah. uh, isn't leveling yourself. So it's I breathe in, can out. Let me bring in Mark here. Mark, Mark, Lord of Attraction. Pretty certain that Einstein subscribed to that the, uh, school of thought, didn't he? Um, I'm not sure about Einstein, but there are, um, there's a lot of scientists that are now starting to come to the idea that, um, maybe, just maybe, we can actually shape the, re the reality around us. Right. Um, there's one in very interesting tale about, um, there was a research institute in the Nevada desert that, uh, used to, <clears throat> used to, uh, test random number generators, see how random the output used to be. Hmm. And then they noticed that, um, at certain times of the week, the data output became more organised, as in less random. Right. And it was only when somebody chanced to check a newspaper that they found that the the 
the data coming out of these computers become more organised when the lotteries are being drawn. Right. Listen, we're going to talk further in a short while, Steve, so you're just going to take a break at the moment. So